Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Robin Lambert, and I'm coming to you from the Red Deer Museum Adaptation Exhibition for the Red Deer College Annual Student Exhibition. I'm going to show you three different pieces that just talk a little bit about uh, sculpture and mixed media. This piece here is by Marilyn Siniak. And one of the things that ended up happening this year uh, is a lot of students had to make work with things they had at hand or were easily accessible. This particular piece is called Explosion in on White. And it is a really lovely kind of blossoming piece uh, that is made entirely out, no it's not, it's made out of two different things. It's made mostly out of coffee filters, you can see here, and I believe it also has cupcake filters, uh, cupcake wrappers in it. Uh, this piece here was done as an ex uh, exploration of repetition and uh, materials and form. So she managed to experiment with her different materials until she found uh, ways that they would create shapes and shadows uh, and work together um, and then create an internal frame you can see out of chicken wire there uh, and that chicken wire uh, was intentionally left exposed uh, so the there was no hidden tricks she wanted it to be uh, kind of an exploration in in white and in shape while most of the work that was made this year was made at home in the second half of the year in the winter term the sculpture and ceramic students were allowed to come on campus there are just certain things that we were unable to accomplish with our students via uh, distance for drawing and painting uh, it was a different story but when it came to pieces like this they are explorations not only in shape form and material they are also learning how to use different uh, uh, tools band saws uh, routers, sanders, etc. So this piece here, every first year sculpture students was given a two foot by two foot, 24 inch by 24 inch uh, square piece of birch, um, birch plywood, and were asked to create a piece that would hang on a wall from one nail. And they had to be three dimensional, they had to feature different elements of design and uh, so this piece here is called Closure, and it's by Chanel Westerland. And it's an excellent example of how she was able to uh, use not only different materials, but uh, different uh, um, principles uh, for designing her work. And you can see there's pattern. Uh, when the plywood's turned sideways, she has different depths. She was able to use curved rectilinear shapes, circles, angles. So it's a very overall uh, detailed and uh, intensive exploration. There were a couple pieces in the exhibition that were actually created last year uh, before the pandemic started. We wanted to give students an opportunity who were continuing to show work that never got a chance to see uh, a public installation. So this piece here is an example of one of those pieces. Uh, this piece is called Expressions uh, by Colby uh, Barkholtz. And these are casts of her mouth that she had made in um, alginate, the same sort of material you would use if you were to go to the dentist and get a casting of your teeth. Uh, she then took that material, cast it in wax, and from there, we went through a process called the last lost wax process and she was able to cast them in bronze and you can see as i get a little bit close here the detail she was able to get in the teeth the tongue the lips it's quite detailed uh, the bronze is able to capture most everything